Hey, what's going on everyone? Eric Rossi, the guy with the eye, and today I'm doing a movie review. All right, let me just take this silly thing off. So I know it's kind of cheesy, but I had this on because of the movie I just watched. And I don't do movie reviews on this channel or anything, but it's an interesting concept. Uh, it's been done before, but I just saw Hardcore Henry, and I just wanted to give my thoughts on the uh, POV process and the GoPro that they used. And was it, a, was it a fail? Was it a success? I don't know, let's just talk about it. Through this whole thing, I'm not really gonna talk about going really in depth with the plot. I'm really just tackling this from the cinematic uh, picture style because there were some key things that I just wanted to address and it'd be great if we can engage discussion on this. But overall, so was the movie a success in my opinion? No, and here are the reasons why I think that it was pretty much a failure. Cool concept, it's been done before like I said. Um, but it, it had a lot of key things that really actually gave me a headache while I was actually watching the movie. Literally, you are in the movie right away. Uh, if you don't know, the whole thing is POV vision, so you don't see the character's face. You just see hand movements and legs and looking down and all that kind of stuff. So you are the main character. And one of the common complaints of POV style videos is that uh, it's hard to relate to the character because you don't see them. You don't see their eyes. You can't see an emote. You can't see their body language of most of the things. So, it's hard to really kind of convey that. And I think through most of this movie, I didn't care that I didn't see what Henry had looked like because of there was, there was just so much going on. There was a lot of action, blood, guts, a little bit of, uh, you know, drugs and everything in there implied. But if you like action, blood, drugs, everything like that, this was all pretty much combined into one hour and a half-ish, hour 20 movie. So all that aside, you're, you're thrown right into action. You're, you're like kidnapped, you're running around. And it is an interesting uh, experience. But how they did all this was it was shot through uh, using a special kind of, um, of head mount. And if I find a picture, I'll throw it up here. That they used the GoPro Hero 3. And this is probably one of my biggest gripes about the movie was obviously the camera. And with that, they were able to use some kind of three axis gimbal to help stabilize some things. Because the entire movie, as long as what they say, the entire movie was shot with the GoPro Hero 3 with this special head mount. And it just, it kind of sucked. And I hate to be so blunt about it because I totally respect everything that went into it and the thought and the theory, but the, the GoPro doesn't handle action that well. They really didn't utilize, utilize slow-mo that well, so the slow-mo that much. There were a lot of low light scenes that they tried to light well, but the GoPro sensor is so damn small, you're not getting much detail out of it. And it just didn't look good. As they're running around, you see like the head moving and everything like that as you would be running. But if you were a fan of Cloverfield and getting sick and queasy and maybe get a headache out of that, well, that's pretty much the same thing here. It was way too jarring. It wasn't stable. I felt that they, they needed to make it a little bit more stable, even though they were trying to make it realistic. It just completely tanked in that regards. The cinematic experience after 15 minutes, if that, uh, was over that the whole lore of everything and uh, that but that's just in my opinion some people could have loved it It's hard because you really don't get any kind of exposition some kind of intro scene like we're going into this area We're going into this area. It's essentially you are just through this linear process of throughout this day where you are Henry and you're just going through all these action cinematic sequences but it's just from one perspective. So it seemed a little too forced after a certain while. It just wasn't shot that well. The other weird part, the POV character, Henry, obviously had to use his hands to uh, communicate because as you'll find out, and it's not a plot spoiler, it's, it's within the first minute of the movie, uh, he doesn't have a voice, so you don't even hear him speak, so you don't know what he sounds like. You just know that he's really some white dude with tattoos, but that's about it. And then you get background from other characters that are kind of just forced upon you, so the, I think it worked in regards to, I mean the story was a little meh, but I think it worked in regards to the characters coming into this guy's life because he doesn't really have his memory. Once again, you find that within the first minute of the movie. So you get that jarring effect. Like you really do feel like you're this guy. But like I said, that allure wears, wears off rather quickly. A lot of things were blurry. The action didn't look good. The shutter speed and everything that the, that the GoPro utilized just didn't handle it well. It was it wasn't good and unfortunately not. Good concept, it's been done before, better. And I think it was a movie from like either the late 90s or 2000s where you were this like detective, I don't know, it was a dude in a suit and the only way you'd see him is if you looked in a mirror. There wasn't much of that in this movie so you're kind of still left up for like who the hell is this person? So overall, I, I wouldn't pay my money to go see it. Again, I, you know, I actually saw it for uh, free, luckily. But um, I got a headache from it. It wasn't that good of a, a cinematic experience. Wait till it comes out. It's just a POV view that you get some fisheye in and it's throughout the entire 
hour 20, hour 30. But if you've seen this movie, please let me know down below. Was it a great cinematic experience for you? I just thought this would be interesting to cover because of the way they use the GoPro and they lit some things and use some of the action. And it just really kind of tanked and failed for me. I'm not going to do a lot of these movie reviews, but this is just something that I think uh, we could definitely discuss and talk about because it involves, you know, the photography style.